Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be touring the island of Flutter by Mel, also known as Storybrook ACNH over on Instagram. Her Instagram is something to be inspired by. If you're looking at for island ideas or inspiration, look no further than Mel's page. I will put the link down in the description below. She is absolutely amazing, you guys. This dream address was released about a week ago, probably two weeks by the time this video comes out. Let's get started. I am going to be touring with a wide angle camera because the views on this island are next level. They're just so beautiful. As you can see right here with the cottage, this island is cottage themed. So it's very vintage cottagey and it's so beautiful. The cottage over to the left is stunning and her house over to the right is absolutely gorgeous. She did something very clever here. You can't go into her house because it's a blocked off. So I'm taking that to mean that she did not decorate the house, but what a clever way of deck of actually making it so that you can't go into the house. That was so creative and so clever. But over on this other side over here, we have this beautiful building view with these cottages right here. So gorgeous. This is the most beautiful picture right here. Super stunning. I love it. The beaches, when she doesn't want us to go into them, are blocked off, which is awesome. I love the way when people don't feel like decorating their beaches, I do love when they block them off. This one we are able to go on, so it does have some very simple decor. I love the rubber rain boots. So those are always so cute when they're laying down. So I'm going to go over to the left. It just, I don't know. That's the way I'm going. So I'm just going to continue on this way. This little cottage is so cute. I don't know who made the custom codes on this island, but they're working on a whole different plane than the rest of us custom code makers. That is beautiful, and I love the way this building was set up with the Azumaya gazebo. Absolutely gorgeous. We have this little doggy over here. I love him. He's super cute. I love a good land bridge, and these land bridges are so good. And here is that other building. It even looks beautiful close up. Look at that. So stunning. She took cottage core to a whole other level in this game right here. Let me tell you, this island is cottage core 2.0. I have no idea what I'm going to use for a thumbnail, but everywhere you look on this island is magic. Look at this. This is such a great little cottage over here. So good. Wow. This little seating area right here is just beautiful. I would love to come and sit and have a muffin or a cupcake here in this area right here. It looks so beautiful. And then if we move right along, we come to another adorable little cottage right here. So cute. I love this one that has wheat fields surrounded around it. It looks so good. Gorgeous. And then we have another little street over here. I love the city street and the absence of terraforming in this area is not even noticeable. I also love that these little bamboo stop blocks were used as guardrails on these land bridges. Super cute. The custom codes used here were next level as well. Here we have Sasha just hanging out. He's such a cutie. And this little trail coming down this area right here, can we talk about it for a second? It's beautiful. It's magical. I just love the way that looks. And another little beautiful cottage. These are all so good. Look at them. They're all so good. Everywhere you come here is a picture. She's super talented, you guys. There's a reason why she has 25,000 followers on Instagram, and it's because she is a magician. 
Like this is just absolutely stunning. She plays Animal Crossing on a whole different level than the rest of us. And these islands pop out of her so fast. Like I've never met anyone who builds an island so quickly. But look at this little cottage with the little umbrella code in front. That's so cute. I don't know where these codes come from, but look at them. They are so cute. It's cluttered, but it's not. It's so beautiful. It's filled with flowers and magic. I just love this island so much. So here we have the peninsula. And if you're like me and you struggle with peninsulas, here's some peninsula inspiration for you. This is so good, so cute. I love that so much. I love the messy brick and the cobblestone and these windows, so, so amazing. And then over here we have a garden. I love a good diagonal garden. With a flower shop, of course, we have the most adorable little flower shop here with baskets of flowers, so pretty. And look at Pom Pom just hanging out here. And this is the pathway to resident services. The flower shop is continued along this way, which is really cute. And then this intersection leads to resident services. And I love the flag. That little duck on the flag right here. So, so cute. It's just amazing right there. So good. I'm going to continue to the left of the island because that is about where I left off with this little cottage right here. Super cute. We're going to continue back where we should have been going when I was going in that direction to begin with. And here we have a villager house. It looks so pretty, so perfect. Just this beautiful little cottage. I love the way the simple panel blends in with the actual house. That just looks so good. And it's such a small little touch, but it looks amazing. We do have another villager's house over here, which is a continuation of the flower field. Also with the simple panel in front. Looks so good. And all the bunnies and the butterfly models. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Honestly, you guys, this island has all of the inspiration right now. I kind of want to tear apart my entire island and start over again. Not going to lie. Every time I come to one of her dream addresses, and I do go to all of them when she releases them. And every time I go, I'm like, what am I even doing? Why am I playing this game? She's so good. Look at this. This is absolutely stunning. Like, I have this big, giant, goofy smile on my face because everything she does is magic. Up here, we have this cute little cliff that we can climb up, and it is like a little overlook um, with the view of the neighborhood behind. And look at that. That little farm building looks so good. With the neighborhood in front and the smokestacks, I'm telling you, this is so, so good. And look at Molly. She's just cute. She knows. She knows she's on the best island. If there was ever an island that was going to suit Molly, it would definitely be this one. So let's go across this land bridge over here. And here we are at another villager's house. This one has the tractor in front. I love that there's a lot of sameness with the houses, but they're still, they still have their own little details, like the books in front, like the tractor, the fruit basket. It's like there's a lot of similarities, but there is plenty of differences to like set them apart. I love this little log bridge right here. That looks so cute. So many good choices are made on this island. It is so good. So if we continue down this way, we have another villager's house. This one has an apiary. I love a good apiary and I do like the choice of the glowing moss jar that it's not one that looks too like creepy or mossy. This one looks really good, like it could be honey. 
And I do love that it's just natural. There's not a lot of custom codes or anything like that, except for these adorable little bees on the ground right here. And um, the beekeeper's hives, which tell you that it is a an apiary. There's a little honey coat on the floor, which is really cute. But otherwise, it is very simple, and I love that because it means that it can be recreated. Also, over here, just this tiny little pond is so good. I love all of the terraforming that she does. She's so, she's so good at terraforming and just at color and design choices. This island is mostly made up of yellow, orange, and white flowers. But then there's the pink bushes that just give it a little touch of difference, like a little hint of something else. Almost everything is staying on the warmer spectrum, but we have all of the green that neutralizes everything. This, I just recorded a video on color and this island is the perfect, perfect example of how colors can complement each other and harmonize with each other. All of the choices made on this island work so well together. This color palette could be a painting. It's so good. I had to do a double take because I thought maybe I went backwards, but this is a pond that mirrors the pond on the other side. So if you look, there is another pond over by Henry's house. It is a little bit similar. I thought it was the same. I was like, oh my gosh, did I not even go anywhere? But no, this is a pond that mirrors the other one. Very cute. Another little villager neighborhood. This one has horses. I love the little in-game ride on horses. I like this one that's pushing the little buggy behind it. That's like one of my favorite things to do. I love that it keeps you back away from it in order to maintain the perspective. It really does look like that carriage is going to go into a tunnel. I love that. That looks so good. So realistic. You can't go past here and that is intentional and it's perfect. But if you continue going to the right, we do have another beautiful cottage, cottage core, right? But literally cottage core. And look at this road. I love that this road is leading to the most beautiful cottage here that's strung in fairy lights. I imagine little fairies living here. It's so cute. I love this. If we continue on over here, there's the rest of the rocks. So we have some of the rocks and this beautiful fairy circle over here. And it's perfect right next to that cottage. I love that there's little stables like horse stables and the horses riding around. So maybe this is the horse stable. I have no idea. It looks so good though with the pergolas, the simple panels, the gazebo ahead, the storefronts, all of the items used here were to make this happen are just beautiful. So that house was mirrored on this side so that you get two of them. So if you come down this street, there's two of those houses. There will be one to the right and one to the left. That's very clever. This island, I love that it gives the idea of being very, very natural, but it is quite flat in the center. It feels like there's a lot of terraforming, but there really isn't, and I do love that. We're up to the right of resident services, and this is what's going on behind resident services. We have this little villager house right here with the duck pond and the little duck painting. Super cute. And then we're going to continue along this way. Oh my goodness. Okay. So if we continue over to the right of resident services, it looks like there should be an entrance to the little cottage above and this cottage below. They're like little twins. This perfect little picture right here. It just looks so good. The terraforming, the waterfall, everything here looks amazing. But if you look above on the top floor, it does look like you should be able to walk up to the door of that cottage that's on the second level. There's no way up there but it looks like there should be. So just because this little area right here was such a tease and I'm on a switch where I can do things, I came up here because I wanted to see what the view looked like from up here. 
and it is gorgeous. This area was a little bit of a tease because there's no way in technically, but I went ahead and disabled collision because I wanted to see what it looked like. And I had to share it with you guys because it's beautiful, it's magical, and it's stunning. Now I'm going to walk off the cliff like nothing happened. Nothing to see here. We weren't breaking any rules here. Not, not me. Never. I am so sad to say that that is it for this island. Thank you so much to Mel for allowing me to tour your stunning, stunning island. I'm going to put the dream address along with Mel's Instagram in the description below. If you're not following Mel on Instagram and you have an Instagram, you should be following Mel. There is a reason so many people know her and love all of her islands. She does Animal Crossing in just an amazingly beautiful way. It's very unique and she puts out content daily over on Instagram. You should definitely go and give her a follow. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. I know you can be absolutely anywhere and you decided to hang out with me for just a little bit and I appreciate you so much for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.